Hello everybody, thank you for watching another watch review today. In today's video we will take a look at two classic dress watches. Both of these watches fall in the same category. They both have leather straps, they have a classical appearance and they have chronograph features. Also they are both analog. Materials used for both these watches are of high and outstanding quality. The Festina's watch is a man's watch and the Titus watch can be both for male and female. The main topic of this video is automatic watches versus manual watches. When it comes to purchasing a luxury watch you are given three basic choices. Quartz, automatic or manual movement. So how do you know which movement is just right for you? A quartz movement is powered by a battery that works in combination with a quartz crystal. The battery life typically lasts one to two years. Quartz movements generally keep the most accurate time losing only a few seconds a month. Also, they have low maintenance costs. Usually, the only work is needed is to change the simple battery. Both manual and automatic movements are mechanical movements. The manual movement is the oldest type of watch movement and dates all the way back to the 16th century. It is usually found in high-end luxury watches. Manual movements need to be wound in order to generate power for the watch to run. Depending on the power reserve your watch has, you may have to wind the watch as often as every day. The only difference between a manual and an automatic movement is that with an automatic, the movement of your wrists powers the watch and keeps it running. Watches with automatic movements have a rotor, which is basically a rotating metal weight attached to the movement, that is then connected to the main spring. Movement from your wrist turns the rotor which winds the main spring, causing it to store energy. Outside of the rotor, an automatic movement operates the same way as a manual one. If you are not going to wear your automatic movement watch, you will need to wind it, so that it will have power to keep on running. Choosing a movement depends on your individual needs. Whether you plan to wear the watch every day, whether you are interested in craftsmanship or ease of use, expenses, etc. If ease of use is your priority, a quartz movement will suit you best. The watch will run whether you're wearing it or not, and keep more accurate time. The only maintenance that's generally required is probably a simple battery change. Whereas a mechanical watch requires maintenance by a certified watchmaker every few years. This can cost you around three to five hundred dollars or more. However, if you're a true fan of the art of Swiss craftsmanship, then you are better suited for an automatic or a manual watch. The mechanical movement is durable. These watches can last for generations and has detailed construction. You will have to wind the watch to give it power, though not the automatic if you wear it every day. But the mechanical movement comes with more prestige and does not lose its value over time. You can't go wrong with any of these movements, it's just a matter of choosing the right one for you. I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you want to know more about watches or you want to check out my other reviews, check out the playlist I made about watch reviews on my channel. Also the watches that I've shown in this video are both the Festina and the Titus. Let me talk a little bit about the history of both brands starting off with the Vestina. Vestina is a watch manufacturer. The company was founded in 1902 in Switzerland. Vestina watches are exclusively assembled on Citizen Watch Company. They use Japanese movements and Vestina is also known for sponsorship of the Vestina cycling team. The other brand Titus. Titus is a formerly Swiss, now Hong Kong based watch company and it was founded in 1887 in Switzerland. 